Hello, Mike Kroger with Finale Inventory. Going to discuss very quickly in this short video about the different picking options using the Finale Mobile Barcode Scanner and our Finale Data Collector software. So in our mobile data collector, um, you can have basically four different ways to pick and pack your sales orders. So one of them that we call is called basic. So we have two ways to do basic. You can have a basic simple and you have a basic directed. And then you also have a choice of wave picking and pick and pack. Let's cover basics of just the differences. So a basic simple, it basically means you're going to pick one order at a time. So you would be uh, choosing the order that you wish to pick. It's going to just basically ask you to scan an item. It's not going to tell you where to go or any of that other information. It's just a basic pick function. So that's called basic simple. Now there's another way you can do is you can change the settings in the, in the software on the handheld and you can throw it into what we call a directed mode. So here we see a basic directed. It's still just one order picking at a time. But if you go to the directed mode, then it will actually tell you which item to pick on the order. It'll tell you how many you should pick. It will tell you where to go in your warehouse if you have multiple locations where products are stored. It will direct you to each of the different areas and it will direct you in the proper order. So it'll sort the, the warehouse locations in an alphanumerical order. It will tell you to go in the most, uh, in that alphabetical order to make it through the warehouse the most efficiently. So, and you'll see on feedback on the scanner, like it tells you where the scanner is now and where it's picking from and how many are in that location. There's a lot more information when you use the basic directed. Now, what this does, is it's going to allow you to pick one order at a time. And when you get done picking that one order, it will be considered packed or shipped based on your settings that you set. So that covers basic, but there's two more advanced features in picking sales orders with the Finale Data Collector. So the next two options are wave picking and what we call pick and pack. So let's talk about wave picking. Wave picking is designed for you to process multiple orders in a wave. So that means you're going to pick and you are going to pack multiple orders at the exact same time. You're going to make one trip in the warehouse and possibly pick and pack all the items on say five orders at a time, 10 orders at a time, 20 orders at a time, depending on how big a cart you got and how, and how much, how many you want to try to pick and pack all at the same time. That's called a wave. So we call wave picking for multiple orders. So it basically starts in the premise that you're going to have a stack of printing uh, or packing slips, right? So you may have a stack of, say, 10 packing slips, and you want to make one trip in the warehouse and pick everything on those 10 packing slips. So what you would do is you would, you would scan each one of those packing slips because each one represents a different order. And you're going to associate an order with a slot. Now, a slot is what we're, we're calling uh, nothing more than a bin or a storage bucket or a place on a cart. So you can have cardboard boxes or bins that separate each order that you, when you go through the warehouse and pick, you're going to assign each order its own little bin or what we call a slot. And you're going to put each item into each bin, and then we will then tell you how to most efficiently go through the warehouse and go pick all the items for all those orders that you have put in the wave on your cart. We'll go into more detail with an, uh, a real live example in a secondary video. This is really just to get, orientate you on the different options you have for picking using our barcode scanner. Now, if the wave picking is not good enough, so maybe you have even more orders and you want to get uh, even more efficiency so you're a, a large uh, e-commerce or a large um, high processing business, then you may want to consider pick and pack. So pick and pack is actually built on batches of orders. So it's still a multi-order pick and pack process. But what we do is we separate the picking process from the packing process. So we call it pick 
then pack. So pick and pack is really the separation of the two, whereas wave, you're going to be picking and packing multiple orders at the same time. So pick and pack is going to work similar to the wave, but it separates the pick process from the packing process. So for example, you may have a stack of 30, 50, or 100 orders out of maybe thousands of orders that you need to go process. And you want to send a team into the warehouse to go pick all of the products related to a batch of say 30 or 50 or 100 orders so that, that you don't have individuals walking in and out of the warehouse trying to locate the one or two items that are on each of these orders. You're going to send one person to go get all the items that they need to fulfill the batch of orders in a pick process and they're going to bring all that that merchandise back to a centralized packing location where they or another team may pack them from that packing location not necessarily the warehouse so it's called pick and pack so that's what pick and pack is designed for so what it will do is allow you to scan the order ids off the packing slips you can just sit there and scan you know, 10, 20, 30, 50 orders right into the scanner. And when you get done, you'll tell the scanner to, that you want to go pick all the items for the, the total number of orders you scanned in. So it creates a consolidated pick list and then drives you in the warehouse to just go get the items. Don't worry about what orders they go on. It's just saying, hey, let's go pull this from the warehouse and bring it back to the central packing location. And then you're going to go through a pack process. That's the, that's the difference. So we, we covered wave pick and pack. So in other videos, we will go into more details and give you prime examples of each of these and how they work, give you a, a better idea of how, how they flow.